Buying and reading books on your Kindle Paperwhite or Voyage are easy enough. But if you're new to Kindle or you just want to get more out of your device, here are some of my favorite tips. Ebooks aren't the only things you can read on your Kindle. You can also get Microsoft Word documents, PDFs, and even view photos right on your device for reference or for later reading. There are several ways to go about this, but the most straightforward method is to email those files directly to your device. To do that, you'll need to find your Kindle's email address. So from the menu, head on over to Settings, and then select Device Options. Here, select Personalize your Kindle, and then you'll see your sent to Kindle email. Now you can compose an email to that address Attach your file, and within a minute or so, you'll see the doc show up in your carousel. Another handy trick is taking a screenshot. This is great for when you want to save a photo from a book or save a page for reference. To take a screenshot, just tap the upper left and the lower right corner at the same time. The screen will flash, letting you know the screenshot was saved. Then, to access that file, plug your Kindle into your computer, Open the drive and you'll see all of your screenshots in the root folder. You can do a similar thing with highlights. Any passages you highlight in a book are automatically saved to a file on your device which you can access on your computer. When your device is connected, look for the documents folder, double click the My Clippings file and you'll see all of your highlights in text format. You can also view all of your highlights and annotations by going to kindle.amazon.com slash your underscore highlights. And finally, it's worth knowing that the button on the back of your Kindle actually has two functions. Tapping it once puts the device to sleep, which is great for saving battery, but if you keep holding it, you'll see a menu where you can choose to restart the device. This is really useful for when your Kindle starts acting weird or slowing down. If you have any questions or tips of your own, hit me up on Twitter and check out cnet.com slash how to for more Kindle tips. For CNET, I'm Sharon Profis.